Hey guys, welcome back. So now we're moving on to the fourth project from my um, gift cards and money holders class. Um, this is a class I taught recently at Ready, Set, Crop weekend retreat. Um, and this features the Silver Bells collection from Close to My Heart. And I used the paper. I also used the Silver Bells card making stamp set and thin cuts for my to embellish my gift card and money holders. And I stamped the images in some charcoal and toffee ink, and then I colored them in with some of the Colorista's pencils. Now, um, I did add some platinum stickles to everything to kind of embellish it. And as I've said with the other videos, there'll be a link with this video description to the blog post. And on the blog post, you'll be able to find a link to a downloadable PDF with the directions for all five of these projects for how to cut your paper and um, score your paper. And I do recommend and I said this before, as you cut the paper, put it into piles for each project. And then that way you aren't confusing pieces that go with one project from another project. It's just kind of my recommendation and what I found from my own kind of trial and error. So this video, we're going to be working on this money holder. So I'm gonna move these other pieces out of the way. And for this, this is a fun one. It just moves out, but this one has a nice little kind of diagonal pocket. So what we're going to do is we need to do this. We're going to, of course, need our cut pieces from this and our cardstock. We're going to need some strong tape. Some I use um, some tear and tape, good, a nice adhesive. You're going to need um, also a um, trimmer and a scoring platform or a scoring blade for your trimmer. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do our scoring. Now we're going to be scoring on the, this piece is seven inches wide by nine and a quarter inches tall. We're going to be scoring this along the nine and a quarter inch side. So we're going to score it at, I'm just going to pull that out. Nice. I like to score on the back side. We're going to score this at three inches. And then we're going to score this again at six and a quarter inches. Now what we're going to do from here, and hopefully I can do this, what you're going to want to do, and I'm going to actually pull out my, you can do this, I'm going to just grab a ruler for this, but this is something you can do on your, on your mat. So I'm going to use my ruler and a pencil. So what I'm going to do is because we're going to cut. So this is your bottom pocket. We're going to cut this at an angle from the bottom left on this side to the top right. So we're going to mark along this side. So from that three, this score line here, we're going to mark one inch down with our pencil. And I hopefully you guys can see this. And then we're going to mark from the bottom corner here one inch in okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my trimmer blade back in my trimmer take my scoring blade out and then I'm going to cut between those marked lines so and hopefully you can see this so I'm lining up my marks with my center of my trimmer and I'm going to cut that piece off so basically there's my there's my cut piece. Now we're going to fold this up and you can use a bone folder to crease. I just sometimes use my fingers and fold this down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my strong tape to create my pocket, just finding the end of it. And I'm only putting the tape on this one side. That's it, that's the only place it's gonna go. So I'm gonna fold this up and I'm going to fold this in. So there I've created my pocket. Now what I'm going to do is I need to take, so I've got my two pieces of pattern paper. I'm going to take one piece of pattern paper and I'm going to trim it so that I have, it kind of matches that. Now this is where you want to be very careful because you're going to want this when you, I like to mark on the back side of things. So this is where you have to be very careful because if you're going to mark on the front side you just have to make sure you're cutting correctly so if you're gonna or if you're gonna mark on the back side 
you want to make sure you mark in the right spots but i'm gonna normally i mark on the back but this time i'm going to mark on the front so this because we're giving it a little bit of that i'm only going to go in three quarters of an inch and i'm going to mark there and i'm going to go up three quarters of an inch here i hope i'm on the camera so hopefully you guys can see this so i marked three quarters of an inch in three quarters of an inch up and then i'm going to do like i did with the pocket i'm going to use my trimmer and i'm going to cut between my marks and cut off my pocket piece and then i am going to adhere this to the front of my pocket and now i'm just going to decorate the rest of my piece. I'm gonna put my sentiment sentiment strip in and then I'm gonna mat my pattern piece for the front. Now as with the cutting directions with this um, you know we use two pieces of pattern paper and I used basically all of the zip strip for it. Unfortunately, they didn't have enough, couldn't do full cut pieces with the zip strips. So what I did for this money holder is I actually used two kind of leftover pieces because this didn't go straight across. I mean, I can move it over slightly, but it, I ended up with a little bit of extra piece. So this one worked out well. And I think that's because I had an extra 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 piece but for this when you're looking at the directions you're going to have two smaller pieces that you're going to use and you're going to kind of join them together when you put them on the money the front of the money holder and from there you're just going to kind of cover over with the um the bell the kind of the seam of the pieces so i'm just going to decorate my pieces here adding these down and I put this on the inside and then the last thing I did with these is I used some platinum stickles to give a little bit of bling to my pieces and of course I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to be very careful when I do so that I don't squish any of the glue before it dries because you guys know stickles takes a little while oh, I'm sorry if I'm off camera to dry so I'm just going to add some more stickle dots and there is the second money holder from the class and i hope you guys like this and i hope you're enjoying all of these videos and if you do please like and subscribe to my channel thank you and have a great day